Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This will be another short video and this video it's uh, how to deal with the fuel imbalance on board. Uh, it's uh, pretty in a very simple way, uh, but uh, just for the example uh, I will show you um, how to get rid of the imbalance and uh, uh, what is behind the fuel imbalance. Uh, imagine that you have uh, the first flight in the morning uh, of the airplane. So airplane was grounded overnight or let's say uh, it, uh, it was flying all the night for example for night charters or something like that and you are performing the first flight. Always uh, and the bigger companies uh, have the engine monitoring um, engine monitoring program and this engine monitoring program means uh, that uh, they are found they are fine they are trying to find with statistical method uh, which engine is reliable and which engine is not reliable or let's say uh, should have some troubles or problems uh, in the future so uh, maybe additional maintenance check uh, will be good to perform and um, yeah, basically uh, that's it and uh, this engine monitoring program uh, it's uh, uh, it's uh, let's say uh, for example when you are uh, applying for EDTP flight, ETOPS flights okay so it's crucial to have it and to prove it into your civil aviation authorities and so you have engine monitoring report point okay uh, report um, form okay so what does it means you have to have the airplane in constant level flight okay and you don't care about the speed so you will disconnect the auto throttle and now when auto throttle is disconnected uh, you will put the engine parameters on lower du and you will write all the numbers for example uh, you will write that you are flight level 340 speed is uh, uh, 0.738 Mach 738 and indicated uh, 254 uh, that's okay um, and uh, as well uh, there are some additional information but you copy all the information which is depicted right over here so that means that uh, N1 EGT fuel flow uh, N2 oil pressure, oil temperature, oil quantity, vibrations of the engine of the engines, okay? And once you have completed uh, this uh, this step procedure, so you may reconnect the auto auto throttle and you may continue uh, and you may uh, blank the lower display unit in case you have the failure it will automatically pops up. So uh, and now as you can see uh, all of uh, in real life but it uh, uh, I will hardly uh, expect that on flight simulator you have fuel imbalance okay so I will put it intentionally into the fuel imbalance uh, because in real life uh, for example as you can see right now our fuel flow it's uh, approximately uh, 1,100 1, kilograms per one engine uh, per one hour okay so this is our uh, fuel flow but uh, in real life the fuel flow it's uh, not exact the same numbers as you can see here on flight simulator and may deviate uh, within 100 kilograms uh, plus or minus so that means that uh, if you have a long flight uh, the crew the crews are very well aware of this fact and the fuel imbalance it's a uh, day daily issue uh, so it's nothing approximately nothing special so uh, and when it when the fuel imbalance occur the fuel imbalance occur on Boeing 737 when you have in one tank less than uh, 450 kilograms comparing to the another main tank okay and so it's related to the main tanks okay and uh, 
you can do it uh, via two ways okay you can open your uh, flight crew operation manual volume one and then you can find the fuel imbalance in supplementary procedure uh, but uh, the crews are well experienced and they are not using the, uh, the fcom uh, and they have his own method and this method uh, says the first open the cross feed and look at for bright to dim and when it is in dim position that means that cross feed is open uh, if you have it uh, in the bright position that means that something uh, with the uh, wealth it's uh, not correct and um, you are not allowed to make um, this supplementary procedure so open the cross feed check it from bright to dim and when it is dim the valve is in correct position and now the rule of thumb is that lower side fuel pumps off okay so i will put this one into off position and now you have master caution fuel yes because uh, uh, we completely uh, disregard uh, this uh, main tanks okay so uh, this is the procedure and uh, we will wait uh, for, a, for a few minutes and uh, it, will, it will be basically okay and we may close the crossfeed and so on and so on and uh, we will see what is the next uh, procedure so once again open the crossfeed make ensure that it's in from bright to dim position and lower side fuel pumps uh, always off lower side is left side so left fuel pumps are going to off position okay and uh, now uh, as we are uh, waiting uh, for imbalance completed uh, so I will tell you that uh, I'm just performing the flight from Christian Sand to Bristol Airport and I have the unpleasant situation uh, from mm, uh, because uh, uh, there is uh, ILS runway 27 unserviceable and there are all visibility procedures currently in operation or in force uh, and as you can see on the chart uh, I have only I standard ILS procedure uh, so that means that uh, I have RVR uh, currently in med report 350 meters but uh, uh, I need to have RVR 750 so uh, maybe uh, I was allowed to take off according to EAS operational procedures because my uh, 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 my uh, destination alternate airport uh, has uh, uh, stated uh, clearly stated in the METAR and TAF as well that one hour prior our arrival and one hour after uh, after arrival uh, we have meteorological conditions uh, for non-precision approach so I was allowed to take off and we will see uh, we have uh, some fuel uh, for holding uh, for example we can pick up the Kempton VOR uh, like this one and we can see that we have holding fuel available for one for one hour and 16 minutes so uh, in this case um, in this case uh, we can wait uh, for example for 30 or 40 minutes and uh, we'll see how it looks like so uh, as you can see uh, right now uh, we have uh, almost uh, it looks like 400 kilograms okay uh, of imbalance here is three tons and here is 2.6 so we have 400 kilograms of imbalance uh, so i will split the video in order not to uh, um, in order uh, not to disturb you okay so because uh, we are uh, focusing on this situation okay so just give me a moment so okay guys now you can see that the um, situation improves uh, we get rid of the imbalance so we have perfectly uh, correct numbers on main tank number one and main tank number two so what is the next procedure the next procedure is always uh, first of all uh, switch on the fuel pumps uh, but do not hurry and wait uh, for the lights extinguish okay this is very 
crucial and important in order not to shut down the engine in the flight. And uh, then you close the cross cross bleed. Okay, uh, if the cross bleed fails, for example, you have it in closed position, and uh, uh, it's illuminated bright. Uh, this is the QRH procedure, and that means that uh, it's failed open in in fail open position. Uh, so that means that uh, you have to. Uh, disconnect the auto throttle and adjust thrust levers in order to get rid of uh, any possible Im imbalances and what are the crew <laughs> the crew procedure or some kind of remember that uh, you are imbalancing fuel and do not forget about it uh, it's to put your checklist uh, between the thrust levers okay so this is um, this this is, uh, from real life so uh, mm, that's it i hope you liked the video and uh, see you next time soon so cross fingers to me to land at the bristol airport thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye bye